a very good morning. Good morning, sweet cheeks. You took the words right out of my mouth. And you are looking beautiful today, as always. Oh, thank you, ditto, honey, ditto. Oh, did you read yesterday's memo? Um, read who? Well, apparently at the next staff meeting, we have to vote on whether we want another snack machine or a soda machine in the break room. Oh. Well, um, are you an eater or a drinker? Now that's a personal question. I think everyone's just gonna have to wonder about me. Accounting said our figures were too soft. So what do you say we get together and firm things up a bit? Right? That way we can give them our hard numbers. You, you are so stiff. Relax, come on. Once we put our heads together, we'll pound them out. Don't worry. Oh man, Randy, you need a break. doesn't know it. So everything's priced to screw him over. Any questions? Recent breakup? Is two hours and 51 minutes recent enough for you? I come home this morning after a nice visit with my cousin Lonel, who lives in Tempe. Such a sweet guy. We try to get together at least once a year. Anyway, I walk in the door, and Maurice has a whole place piled high with boxes. Says he's moving out, and that the van's coming later on this afternoon to pick up the rest of his stuff. <laughs> Just like that. No clue, no warning. Come to find out, he's having a fling with this hydrocolon therapy technician. Ouch. No, it gets worse. I introduced them. Oh. oh, God, I always hated this. On our six month anniversary, I gave Maurice a certificate for a free session. Have you ever had hydrocolon therapy? Not on purpose. You know, I used to think that what was good for the colon was good for the soul. I don't know now. I think it's a bunch of crap. Well, if Maurice wants to take his ass to the cleaners, I'll be more than happy to help. Excuse me, sir. Will you take twenty dollars for this painting? Twenty dollars? This is a nineteenth-century piece, lady. It's been in Maurice's family for over a hundred years. This is the most valuable piece. I couldn't live with myself if I sold this for twenty dollars. I insist you take it as a gift and keep those twenty smackers and get yourself a nice perm. Attention, everyone, attention. Uh, for the next 15 minutes, everything is... Name your own price! Glasses, gloves, gumballs, gator. Is he thinking what you're thinking? Find out with Gaydar, a special friend detection device. Gaydar. Thermometer. Homometer. Let 
getting this group really, really, really good together, you know? I'm the yin, he's the yang. You cruising me? You cruising me? You cruising me? Well, who else you cruising? You cruising me? Well, I'm the only one here. Who the fudge sickle do you think you're cruising? Huh? Yeah? Okay. I was, um, uh, blow drying my hair. <laughs> See my new dryer ah! thingy? It's, um, it's cordless. It's so handy. I'm gonna get you one for Christmas. <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I've been standing outside growing old. I've been ringing the bell like a lunatic and nobody answers. I see your car is here, the lights are on, and then I begin to think to myself, what if he's lying on the floor with his three legs broken in a pool of blood? Then I remember, you keep a key under a flower pot. But which one? It's a sea of terracotta out there. I have felt up 38 pots of pansies. Look, I got root rot. I should be in an emergency ward. But I found the key. And then you ask me, what am I doing here? It's movie night. Look, I've rented back to back. Doris Day. Oh, I'm so sorry, Uncle Vince. I completely forgot. Forgot? You mean you forgot to make Aunt Frida's cheese squares too? Whoops. Uh-huh. I was thinking about maybe going out. Out? Out where? Well, I was thinking maybe a club or a bar or something. But you never go out. How many years has it been, Uncle Vincent? You bring the films and I'll make the munchies. And now suddenly it's Saturday Night Fever. What's got into you? I'm just sort of in the mood, kind of. No, all right. Look, I've got a two-day rental. Okay, then, well, tomorrow oh, night. Tomorrow night's fine. You go and have a good time, and don't worry about me. Okay. And as your uncle, may I ask you a personal question? Sure. When you get to this disco, are you going to wear pants? Whoops. Uh-huh. I could just tell that's all. Oh, man. Even my mom doesn't know I'm gay. It's okay. You think the other guys on my team know? Oh, no. You see, Thor, I have what you might call no? a gift for figuring out big old hunky hunk men like you. You will 
I got a gift for you, too. Stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> I into what? I can't believe you just asked me that. That's a personal question. Now that's a personal just question. Gonna have to wonder about me. Everyone's just gonna have to wonder about me. Wonder about me. Everyone's just gonna have to wonder. Everyone except me. More fun for your trunk with the wicked thump. More fun for your trunk. I saw this fabulous musical Friday night that you would just die for. Hello? You're so not listening to me. What's with the salute to Lost in Space? <laughs> Randy, mm. inquiring minds want to know. It's a toy. It's for my desk. It lights up and it makes some noise. That's all. Cute. Can I see? I'm already late. Oh, whatever. Give it. Randy. <laughs> Tell your fiance hi for me. You know, Marlene. Computers are down. What you got? Frankelina. I'm gonna find out which side of the street Jack hitches his pony. Okay. What you got? It's a gay dark gun. I got it at a yard sale this weekend. It actually tells you if somebody's gay or not. Child, how many cans of caffeine you running on? What? Oh, no, I'm not voting for that soda machine. Mm -mm, no way. Is this trying too hard? I'm serious. See? <laughs> Big old flamer. Jeez. You didn't even experiment in college? Hey, hey, hey. Morning crime fighters. Oh, my God. Wish me luck. Randy, get back here! Join the NRA? It's my gun. If you make me mess my nails, uh, shut your squawk box and let me talk for half a second. Ouch! Stop the violence! Listen to me. He's standing right there. Uh, go ahead, then you shoot him. What? Can I talk now? Ugh. I have worked here for 15 years. You had a full head of hair when you first started. Now, that's a long time to walk through that door to the same job. Honey, our daydreams help get us through the day. My hot fantasies about sugar buns beat cold reality hands down. 
if we find out he's definitely one way or the other, one of us has to give up daydreaming about him. Now, I'm not ready to do that. Are you? Have you two seen my... Uh... Huh. What was I looking for? Um, I guess I should be looking for my mind. <laughs> I love Mondays. I see your point. Uh, Can I have my gun back now? Oh, not just now. I need to borrow it. But you said fantasy is better than reality. Well, not always, honey. I know a girl who's thinking about getting married that might just find this useful. You know, Marlene. Uh, Oh. <laughs> I was so looking forward to giving him away. What did you say? Oh, um, I, you forgot one. Oh. Over by Mary Kay. It's easy. 